David Livingstone was the first to explore the full 1,700 miles of the Zambezi. In November 1855, he discovered a wonder he was to share with the world. I'm sitting on Livingston Island at the very lip of the magnificent Victoria Falls and from where I am it's certainly not hard to appreciate why Dr Livingston was moved to write those now immortal words, seen so lovely, must have been gazed upon by angels in their flight. The Poacher Patrol is partly sponsored by Tongabezi Safaris. Rob, the pilot, is on the lookout for poachers. If he finds them, they'll be reported to the National Park Authorities. To obtain a just conception of the enormous wilderness, no better point of view can be selected than the summit of the Mesa Verde. The deep, narrow canyons and high mesas offer sanctuary to the Ute Indians who terrorize the entire region. Most of us who moved here were unaware of the ancient ones and their mysterious places. Hit music station, Hiss 98. The Four Corners is the only place in the USA where four states meet rather neatly at right angles. That's Colorado, Utah, Arizona and New Mexico. It was, of course, first divided up in that way by white men who moved here to settle in the 1870s. But the original inhabitants of the United States, American Indians, had crossed here for thousands of years before that. And even today, much of this area is still reservation land. When the great collision came between settler and Indian, most white pioneers were concerned with claiming land and defending it. And many heroic and some less heroic figures are still vividly remembered from that romantic cowboy period of American history. But one man from that era has acquired a rather different but equally legendary reputation. Richard Wetherill was the discoverer of some of the greatest and most mysterious of all ancient Indian ruins in North America. Over much of the surface of the earth, the temperature ranges are such that water remains as a liquid, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for all those live processes. But in places where the temperature falls, then sea ice begins to form. And there you are, a baby iceberg, all of my own, and it floats. Everywhere we look, there are problems of water and water supply. And Venice is a city with much more than its fair share. Built on wooden piles and stone piers sunk deep into the mud, it has struggled to keep its head above high water mark for the past 1,200 years. And now there's a new problem on the horizon. They've gone and discovered oil out there under the Adriatic. Two rigs at the moment and 18 coming online. And of course, as they gush into production, the oil comes up, Venice will start to sink again. And in part, you know, burning that oil, causing the greenhouse effect, could make the sea level itself come up. <laughs> and this is just the result of oh, an onshore wind, a moderately high tide and a bit of rain. Venice, you know, really does have its own watering problem.
The Submerged Cultural Resources Unit are responsible for underwater sites around the coasts of North America. Here, in Lake Superior, is an original answer to the problems of conservation of historic wrecks, the establishment of an underwater park. By far the most popular of the island's wrecks is the America. She lies just below the surface, clearly visible from above. It is now possible to swim down into the heart of the ship. The National Park Ranger is Larry Murphy. Descending the main stairway. The hazards are many as the diver descends deeper into the ship, dropping down deck by deck. The way on becomes dark and confined as the light from outside disappears. I'm going to be descending down a second. Fly to the stairs. to the galley area. There have been attempts in the past by commercial salvers to raise America, but the Park Service philosophy is now to keep these wrecks in situ and intact for the sport diver to explore. the engine room. This is the electric panel, most of which, most of the switches have been removed. The ones that are still here still operate. The radio stack. This would be totally unexpected in any other environment. Little on display is now being stolen. Switches and portholes remain intact. An engineer's boot discarded in the moment of panic as the engine room flooded. The America has in fact become a giant underwater museum, protected by a now firmly established underwater national park. <laughs> 